Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about the Twilight Zone. And with this video, I will conclude my annual Halloween special. If you don't know, I made a month-long amount of videos all on Halloween topics, classic TV shows, classic movies, a lot of sequels. So make sure to check them out. A link is in the description for you to check it out. And we're going to get to our regularly scheduled videos right after this. And I just couldn't pass this Halloween up without talking about The Twilight Zone. And this episode that many of you are huge fans of, it's from season 1, it's episode 22, it's called The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street. It aired March 4th, 1960. Now this is a very different episode than the ones you're probably used to on The Twilight Zone because it has to do with a peaceful suburban street. This street is called Maple Street and the residents feel something similar to a tremor and they hear a very loud noise. Now the man Steve Brand thinks it's a meteorite though he didn't see any crater. Now when the young boy Tommy tells them the science fiction story he read about an alien invasion where they were first sent among humans to live with them in disguise, all paranoia begins to set in. First, they suspect one man, and then they suspect another man. And then they point the finger at the original man, Steve, and then at Tommy. Everyone turns to everyone else because of this crazy paranoia. And the events turn on the man, Charlie, as everyone runs amok. Now, if you were a fan of this episode, you are not alone because it's one of the favorites from the Twilight Zone. And if you were, were looking at the episode itself and you notice one of the main characters of this episode, Steve Brand, he's played by Claude Akins. Now, Claude Akins was also in an episode of I Love Lucy called The Deserted Island. When they see a native, he's not really a native actually, he's just an actor playing a native in a movie. This is a man under the makeup, by the way. In case you didn't know that, that is Claude Akins. Now coming back to the Twilight Zone episode, probably a lot of you weren't paying attention to the background neighborhood or what we call Maple Street. That is because this is the MGM set, the backlot set that was used for any town in the USA. This could pretty much stand in for any town in the United States, this little hometown feeling. And this is the place that they use, MGM in uh, Culver City, California back in the 1960s. Now you may not have known that if you jump into season 5 of The Twilight Zone, one of the last episodes, episode 30, well, you'd be pleasantly surprised. Why? Well, that episode was called Stopover in a Quiet Town and it aired April 24th, 1964. Now in this one, a couple that had a little bit too much to drink, they find themselves not only in a weird and strange house, but in a deserted town with no one in it where they find out that everything is not as it should be. Now, I won't spoil this one for you, but as they're roaming around the town trying to find out where they are and what is going on, you can pay attention to the background. It seems very familiar, and yeah, that's because it is the same small town any you uh, or any town in USA that is used on the MGM lot. In fact, it's the same set, the same back lot that was used for Monsters Are Due on Maple Street. You can even see some of the similar buildings. Again, it's the same asphalt, same grass, pretty much everything. The episodes are just a couple years, three, four years apart from each other, and they reused it thinking that you would not notice it. And you know what? They were pretty much right until Rick 9G came along and told you. But other than that, I mean, because of the great storytelling, the different actors, the different time period, and because this was an anthology series, people probably wouldn't pick up on it and it would make sense either way. But now you know the secret that this town on the MGM lot and the back lot, unfortunately, which is no longer there, was used in both of these episodes of The Twilight Zone. Are you a fan of either of these episodes? Maybe both of them. Maybe you're a huge Twilight Zone fan. And so you would love to maybe rewatch both of these episodes. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Which one do you like more? Is there a scene that sticks out at you that you really want to highlight or talk about? Feel free to talk about it in the comments down below. I really appreciate when you leave comments, when you talk about the videos, when you let me know what you want to see next. And I'm excited to bring you lots of stuff before the end of the year. Thank you for supporting the Halloween special this year. Hopefully there'll be another one next year. We'll see you all next time. And don't forget, everyone, be hopeful. 
A really big thank you to all my diamond tier patrons. Jerry D, Stacy L, Scott R, Citizen Kane 359, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to be on this list or receive exclusives as a great way to support the channel, visit my Patreon description below. Thank you.